What is up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you doing today? Let's get straight into our savage update. But first, I need you to turn that volume up real loud. I need you to get real close to that screen and get savage. First thing on the agenda. How is my recovery going? And what is my current timeline? So right now, I think I have some of the, well, I would consider the best news is I am now cleanly walking without a problem. I don't really feel any pain. There's a, there's some steps where I'm just like, I was like, oh, get a little twinge here. But currently I am walking fine. I am, I'm taking strolls. I'm going for walks. One step closer. Um, as far as arm wrestling goes, <laughs> um, I think, uh, I'm going to try to get back on the table in March, as of right now. End of April, beginning of March. Um, currently, there isn't, um, there's a gap, um, which we'll get into, and uh, like tournaments and stuff going um, into April, beginning of March. So I have a little bit of a timeline. I'm not going to go straight back into the S class, um, which is, um, I guess, pro in Japan. I'm probably going to do like a tournament or two as a A to get my feet wet again, see where I stand. Um, cause I obviously just came back um, from being broken. Uh, but I'm looking on the table, getting back on the table in March. I'll start weight training again, easing back into it. Just feeling real good. You know, it should be at me back, back at my pristine, Probably a month or two after that, I'll be back to, hopefully back to 100% if all things go, you know, perfect. Um, still got a little bit of, gotta keep an eye on the, the disc, make sure everything stays healthy there. Now, tournaments. Japan tournaments. Boom, got a big one coming up this weekend. Um, me and the boys, strong arm family. Going to head to uh, Yokohama, going to the Monster Cup Dojo, 32nd 30 30 Monster Cup Dojo. Um, hopefully it's a real good turnout. Um, definitely going to do a lot of recording, um, catch some of the after pulls. Um, do my best not to feel froggy and grip up with somebody. Because uh, um, I'm real antsy. Real antsy. You know, I really want to get in there and get savage on the table, you know, get getting those hooks, getting those, hitting that top roll real hard. Whew. Uh, but yeah, looks like I'm uh, really excited about that. Should be a really good turnout. Um, it is Sunday, so I probably won't be able to drop the vid until Sunday, uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday evening, based off how much editing I'm going to do, because I'm going to get a lot of footage. Um, it's gonna be a whole lot. I'm gonna get some. Uh, most recently, I've just been getting like what's going on, on the table, but I think I'm gonna try to get some background footage. Let you see like the like how the, they're scoring it, how the refs are looking at it, how the tables are set up. A little bit more into the brackets. You know, I'm I'm trying to give you a piece of what I'm seeing out here as an American arm wrestling in Japan. Um, some of my experiences, what I see. Um, you know. The in and out, the ins and outs. Um, now, let's get into these handles, right? So I got some uh, handles that came in because uh, recently I was thinking, um, I, I put out a lot of content of showing what Japan is like as an American arm wrestler. But I thought, like, why don't I bring some of North American arm wrestling um, that they don't see a lot of to Japan? And when I think of like training and everything and handles in North America, I think of three big names, three big companies. I think Arm Assassin Strength Shop, I think Country Crush, and I think EAC. So I got in touch with my boy Lucas Raymond, um, see what I could do about getting a couple handles. And 
He hooked me up with two nice ones. Not really going to say what they are, just in case somebody's out there watching uh, on, the, on the team that might uh, start trying to do a little bit of research so you can figure out like how the handle actually works before I bring it to them. Because I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to let them go to town. I'm not really going to show them at first. I'm just going to let them fill it and see if they can do it correctly. The surprise portion is the first person who uses the handle correctly to where it's designed to be used for, I'm going to give them that handle. I'm just going to give it to them as a gift of good faith to help them grow and help them get stronger. Because a lot of Japanese arm wrestling, they don't train on um, on weightlifting on the tables. It's more of they just they spar and they train in a group. So I'm trying to get a little bit of that, you know, that training style into them, help them get stronger, help them develop. And if this is what I can do to help them grow, that's what I'm going to do to help them grow. This is probably just the first of many. I might mix it up and go to some other teams or do something in public. Um, I might even set up some handles and send them out to you guys. Um, but first, we're going to do that. So yeah, I'm going to grab my table. I'm going to grab my pulley system. We're going to drag it out there, set everything up. Probably throw like 25 pounds on just something to experience. And I'm going to throw this little bad boy on there, you know, and see if uh, how many tries does it takes for them to get that handle the way it's supposed to be used. Not, I know there's a lot of the different ways to use it, and I'll, I'll show them, and like I'll share, like, hey, yeah, this is how you do this, how you do that. But I want that one way that it was designed, and you all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you do. Well... You guys take it easy. That's my uh, savage update for today. But you guys remember, stay savage.